Welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of firewood. Um, our goal today is to tell you what we do personally for firewood for our own personal use. Um, we love having fires as a family. We also enjoy going camping, so it's you can never have too much firewood on hand for yourselves. We also sell firewood on the side, just a really small firewood business. Um, we might sell 15 cords of firewood a year, so it's not crazy amount, but it does give us just a little bit of supplemental income there, uh, and we enjoy doing it. There's nothing like getting out in nature and just relaxing, enjoying the, the time that you can spend. But what we want to cover today is kind of what we have, our setup. So currently we have, here's our pole barn, and we have a little bit of firewood here on the back, probably about close to a cord. Uh, this one here is 10 foot long, and we use 16 inch pieces, and it's probably about three and a half foot. We usually come up to here, which is, uh, I believe, I'm sorry, this is three foot. So we're just a little under three foot there. And then this one here goes 16 foot long and once again right under that three foot. So somewhere around close to maybe a little bit less than a quarter of firewood out here. We have a 10 foot section inside the pole barn uh, that we keep. This keeps it out under, out of the weather. Um, no rain gets to it. There's always wind up here on the, on the hill. So it's just a good thing. But one thing we wanted to test out today is how much wood can we actually get into the Polaris Ranger XP-1000, the, the rear bed, right? So we're going to load up, go down to the wood yard, and we're going to fill that back bed up. We do have a 2022 Polaris Ranger XP-1000, so let's say, stay tuned and let's see how much we can get in there because uh, we got to fill up our inside section here. So we appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Let's get into it. Hey, I almost forgot, guys. We got to take these Kimimoto um, boxes out. So if you check out the uh, review on these Kimimoto storage boxes, they're extremely nice, but they're so simple and versatile to take on and off. I'll put the link to the uh, video for these up in the up here somewhere, and you guys can check that video out. To where you can see how nice and easy these are i mean quick open you can get in there keep all your stuff for tie downs extremely nice Daddy. yeah we'll put those on here in a minute buddy get in the ranger we'll go down and get some firewood you store these off to the side that opens your entire bed up ready to throw some firewood in let's head down to the wood yard All right, so we're down here in the wood yard. Uh, we split all this wood, I don't know, it's probably a couple months ago. Probably took us about an hour and a half to do all this. Um, we made, we cut it up into rounds, then we split it. And this is a mixture of wood, and it's it's out of the pile here we have right here. That over there is from actually um, just a couple months ago, so that's fairly new. But this is all probably old, maybe not all the way dry, um, it's going to have some drying to do, but we're going to see how much we can get in the back here. So we're going to start throwing this in here, and we'll might take us a minute, but we're going to speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch us work. Mm -hmm. 
in regular time. So one reason why I always cut firewood 16 inches is it's just easy to handle at 16 inches. That's just the common uh, size. But also with the Polaris Ranger XP1000, you can load two rows and your tailgate goes up perfect. We can throw some more on top here. Just get it piled up real nice where it's not falling off. We don't have to worry about that and we'll be able to haul it real nice in here and snug. So let's put, throw some more on top here and then we'll get up there and stack it inside the pull barn. guys well I got back up there and started reviewing the camera footage and after we stacked it I started talking a little bit and we had no no video uh, audio so I'm gonna have to charge that up I don't know what's going on with it I might have to get a new one it seems like it's dying pretty quick but hey before we started stacking there was this little section here that we had left over I put it off to the side so you could see it but it's about three foot tall 16 inches by 16 inches that's the old stuff. So from here to here, I measure it out at six feet, six feet long, 16 inches wide, so one row of firewood, and then approximately three inch, or three foot high. 16 long, 16 inches wide by about three foot uh, high. That's how much wood we can get in the back of the Polaris Ranger XP1000. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the video of how we operate on our personal firewood. It has nothing to do with what we sell, just our personal use. I like to keep it in and out of the weather uh, on the back of the pole barn there, but also in here. One thing we really want you guys to help us out with is shoot it in the comments. Let us know what you think about a video. If you have any questions, concerns, or hey, if you just want some content, maybe you have something in the back of your mind and say, hey, I really would love to have a video on that. Put it down there because that's how we want to help you guys provide value for you. Whatever your questions are, we want to answer them. So we truly enjoy doing this um, and helping you guys out. We love being outside. We love doing things in the country. That's what we're all about, helping everybody out. So hit that bell notification so you make sure you can know when we post another video. And it truly does help us here on the channel if you hit that like button. We're trying to grow this channel to reach as much audience as possible. So. Couldn't do it without you. Thanks for coming back every time. And until next time, here on Hill Creek Outdoors, just like always, we'll see you.